Hey everybody, what the heck is going on? My name is Usman and today I'm coming in with a no BS video. Let's jump right into it. And today we're gonna be talking about DLC5. There's a lot of stuff going on and we have some undeniable evidence from Treyarch's part, of course, and a ton of stuff going on behind the scenes that if you were to know just one thing, you will believe in DLC5 straight away like anyone else that is claiming to believe in DLC5. And there's a lot of stuff that will make you scratch your head uh, because a lot of it doesn't add up to anything. And the only thing comes to mind is DLC 5 or a new DLC, but AKA DLC 5 for Black Ops 3. Now, we're gonna be talking all of that in just a little bit, but I would appreciate if you could smash that like button as well. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We do daily videos and live streams, but before we jump in on the stuff that will make you scratch your head, I wanna shed some light on the fact that I made a video a couple of days ago where I bring this private video to light that was found on Treyarch and Call of Duty YouTube channel, and it was pretty odd to see that. And I made a video about covering it, and there was other stuff like track was replying to DLC 5 comments uh, and we have that one comment today it's found that we will have in this video and that will just like legit give you a, a lot of information all right so uh, in that video we were talking about all those replies uh, to DLC 5 comments we cover all of that in that video but that private video turns out to be a salvation DLC trailer but there are a lot of versions of salvation DLC trailer out as we speak and the the one they Privatized was the North American version. It's still pretty odd to me. Why would they do that? It has a lot more views and everything like that, but it's very interesting indeed to why they would have privatized that specific video. Was there something they accidentally put out in that video that they don't want us to see? I don't know. If some of you guys happen to have that specific version downloaded at that time when it was released and still have it on your PC, mobile, or whatever, definitely let me know. In the comment section down below but I saw this uh, on Call of Duty Zombies HQ channel I saw COD Zombies HQ figured this out or maybe someone else did but I personally saw on COD Zombies HQ so I'm so glad to bring this to light and it's awesome seeing this being figured out now I want to move on and talk about stuff that no one is uh, really talking about and it seems like it's being pushed down and I just want to shed some light on it there is a lot of stuff some old and brand new that came out like an hour ago uh, we're, we're gonna actually combine all of that in this video right now so if you guys remember before revelations we were getting a ton of files being added uh, into uh, black ops 3 those were files for ascension mob of the dead origins and instantly everybody including myself thought we will get remastered maps but it came true in a sense of revelations where we have remastered areas but ascension wasn't in there and the go-to was that Treyarch removed Ascension from Revelations last minute or it was for mod tools but we are still getting more Ascension files added into Black Ops 3 with patches and updates and we do not have Ascension in Black Ops 3 which is very odd knowing we also have a remastered loading screen for Ascension and what if I tell you on January 13, 2017 uh, when Black Ops 3 has no life cycle we got a new Steam update and an unknown app was added added into it uh, into Black Ops 3 and had numbers of 581450 and we have seen apps for previous DLCs as well and getting this one when the game has received its final DLC 4 it is pretty odd and interesting at the same time as well because normally what happened is that they add apps which has numbers and then later they get updated with the map name uh, but this time of course again we got uh, another app but it has 58 1450 as numbers and it is very interesting indeed but if you take a listen uh, again to the words of Jason Blundell from the live stream that Treyarch did back in December he said on a live stream I'm afraid I can't say it right now so what was it he can't say right now and that is still a mystery to this day and instantly anybody would think of a brand new DLC specifically for zombies as this is coming from a zombies god if you know what I'm saying and and this is just not it. I, I just finished watching Glitching Queen's video right when I was like trying to make my own video and she somehow uh, got this probably by her own research or someone actually sending that to her. If you guys don't know we covered a lot of DLC5 comments in our previous video but this reply is really got my PP go. Treyarch never replies. I, I want to reiterate this. Treyarch never replies to D 
DLC comments, and this one came from Kenneth. He said, Hey Treyarch, just so you know, the only games I play is Black Ops 1, 2, and 3. All zombies, all the time. A DLC file would make me so happy I could cry, uh, and so will I too. And Treyarch replied saying, Noted. They said that on a DLC 5 comment, and Mr. Awful Waffles on Twitter did a poll a couple of days ago on March 4th, uh, and basically had DLC 5 in both options. And the day after, on March 5th, he tweeted at Treyarch with a heart. It was not a reply, it was just a tweet that he sent to Treyarch that could be anything like he's just showing his emotions towards uh, Treyarch and uh, the, their games and whatnot. But uh, what I'm trying to say, it was, a, it was just a tweet and uh, the replies on that tweet were all about DLC 5. I wouldn't be surprised honestly if Mr. Rafa Waffles, Noah J456 or anyone big in the community because a lot of big YouTubers know about this but they are not allowed to say and just earlier today Call of Duty said this on Twitter. Now before I jump in on this I know they have tweeted for Modern Warfare Remastered DLC but try and think about their wording okay so they said the wait is over kick off hashtag March Remastered by jumping into the variety map pack on PS4 March 21st pre-order today. Now, why in the world they would say kick off and hashtag March Remastered? If this is only one DLC for Modern Warfare Remastered, they shouldn't have said kick off uh, and added a hashtag. Like kick off to me sounds like they're gonna kick off this March remaster, March, like the whole month, and this whole month we're gonna get remaster maps or something. What I'm trying to say here, this kickoff is going to be with Modern Warfare Remaster DLC uh, and it's a kickoff for this whole remaster month, March remaster. To me, this says a lot more. And of course, Treyarch posted a picture on Instagram six days ago, and today it's uh, 7th of March by the time I'm actually recording this video. So you can see that that picture was in March, and we have talked about this and tons of other stuff in previous videos that I would highly suggest you check out. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and I will play a short little clip of other comments that Trek have replied to of course those uh, comments were all about DLC 5 so uh, that is really about it and I'll catch you guys very freaking soon peace out and say uh, something like DLC 5 and like look at my boy he's just like we need DLC 5 now Treyarch uh, and answers and whatnot but what's interesting here is that Treyarch is replying to comments like DLC 5 my boy Alex is like we want DLC 5 and Callum is like it's not coming and <laughs> you meet the like hey ish STFU Craig is just straight up you guys are funny 55 seconds video saying that there will be a DLC 5 like it's not just the youtubers that are talking about it but it's all over over all over like Facebook and Twitter YouTube all over the social media and then uh, we have a lot more replies brought by Treyarch and this was like probably the best one I want you guys to think about this all right so Treyarch is like I'll be honest this thread has gone in a direction that I didn't see it going I'm surprised and impressed Bravo people, bravo. Now, what they're exactly saying here is that, I'll be honest, this thread has gone in a direction, direction means DLC5, has gone in a DLC5 direction that we didn't see it going. I'm surprised, like, hey, I'm surprised that people are talking about it, and then they're like, impressed people, I'm surprised people are talking about DLC5, and I'm impressed that they are talking about DLC5, and then they are like, bravo people, bravo. I'm surprised they are talking about DLC5, DLC5, I'm impressed, and I'm like, bravo, I'm congratulating them. That's kind of like what I'm getting from this comment, and call me crazy, but uh, I I am like legit excited. Of course, people would joke around DLC69 and whatnot, and this boy, Alex, is like, we want DLC6, Treyarch, and uh, then uh, Treyarch is like, someone has gone next level, and next le level means DLC6, so does that mean DLC5 isn't a next level to them? Call me crazy again, but uh, Kevin is like, Treyarch, you guys have money, make your own robots to fight theirs. Uh, Treyarch is like, you would, uh, that would certainly take things up a notch, wouldn't it? And I am like legit excited about this, and they are kind of like talking back to like us, the fans of their games, and kind of like uh, just teasing us in a way. Of course, like they are not saying that we're gonna give you a DLC fight, but hey, there is a lot of evidence and proof that we will see 
see DLC 5 like if you guys have missed any one of my videos I would highly advise you guys to check those out but if you guys remember uh, like the leaderboards for Black Ops 3 you guys know that they actually have changed that where now we have a lot more space for potential new or old or DLC 5 remaster maps so you guys gotta keep that stuff in mind and uh, that is really about it let me know what you guys think are you a believer of DLC 5 or not let me know in the comments below and if you guys have enjoyed this video give it a like subscribe if you are new and I'll catch you guys very freaking soon peace out